Fungi are the workhorses in industry currently, and, but already for centuries fungi have been used for all kinds of applications in food, in feed, antibiotics. You, everybody knows about the use of antibiotics. They all, many of them come from fungi. Many enzymes in the textile, in the washing industry, but also, I mean, people know fungi from eating them. So like in cheese, in uh, mushrooms themselves. So, um, and, and so in, in more recent years, also modern applications have been developed. For example, making cheese clothing enzymes in fungi. And, and so all these applications have grown and, and that was an opportunity also for Dutch DNA to, yeah, to start in this field to, to, to offer services and, and strains. We developed a hyper protein production system for our clients because we saw a need in the market. Uh, our clients are developing fantastic enzymes for all the proteins, but are lacking a production system. That's what we provide them. At Dutch DNA, we, we like to combine all the public and private data sets which are available. So we combine genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics, and we take this huge data set containing terabytes of information and we compile it into a short list, which then scientists can take and implement it in our production hosts. Most of our data comes from the lab. We design an experiment which results in a lot of data. This data goes to our bio-IT department and they make sense of the data because it's easy to generate a lot of data, but to make sense of it is really another job. So they make sense of this data and this always leads to new questions. And with these new questions, we go to the lab again, generate new data. So this goes on as an iterative process in close collaboration between the lab and the bio-IT department. We have two proprietary strains that are our own that we can develop for customers. They are filamentous fungi and they are typically very viscous, and one of which is, as you can see. But the other one is special. It is not as viscous, it's almost like water, and it stays like this for five or six days. And even though it stays like this, it can even make 100 grams per liter of protein. So yeah, this is why our system is very unique and valuable. We have a team of three different disciplines, molecular biology, fermentation technology and bioinformatics. Our molecular biology team uses state-of-the-art technology for genetic engineering. Fermentation team can optimize the protein production process uh, for any protein. Our bioinformatics team can analyze the large amount of data that we generate. And by linking those three disciplines together and letting them closely collaborate, we can design solutions for any protein of any sort to produce them at high efficiency. I'm really proud of the team, what they achieved the last couple of years with their developments and the new protein production system. And I look forward to support our clients in the future.